Good morning. Good night. Good evening. How are you? Porque siempre estoy en este stream. Es como mi página inicial cuando abro Google. Yo, what's up, Blueface? Hello. Uh, how are you guys doing today? ¿Cómo, cómo estás tú, Parma? ¿Cómo amaneciste? ¿Cómo va el trabajo? How are you, Blue Pace? Are you at the gym? It's always working. Wanna be your gym partner? I wish. Starting super late today, yeah. Very late. It's 10 a.m. at work now. Fair enough. put the hammock on because I have to uh, to put something in the background right hey I um, I deadlifted how much did I deadlift um 130 kilograms today. Today? Yeah, today. That's a big deadlift. You wanna see me doing it? I'll show you. Hello, Morena. Buenos dias. ¿Cómo amaneciste? See if I can find it. Here we go. Let me show you this. 100 and... One hundred and um, thirty kilos. Five reps. I only showed two there, but it was five reps. That was earlier today. Felt good. Felt really good. Feel like Anatoly. Anatoly is a freak, huh? That guy is insane. The blue is a gentleman. A very distinguished gentleman, too. Cansadísimo, tu mamá estuvo enferma y te tocó ser la cama de la casa e ir a la uni todavía. Uy, no. ¿Qué tiene tu mamá? ¿Algo suave o algo serio? Can I not use my freaking gamepad in this? If I can't, I'm gonna be pretty pissed off. 
can I lift you like that? I don't know. How, how much are you weight? What's your weight? Because that was 130 kilos. So if it's less than 130 kilos, yeah, I can probably do that. Probably up to 140. Hey, salmon. Salmon elosis a la señora. Ya está bien. Okay, me alegra. An idea, gym stream. That could be a thing. Irish Caro, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Welcome, Irish Carrot. How are you? Okay, so I gotta tell you the story about this game. Why did I end up in this game? And what it is. I'm scared already. Wait, why is the why are the messages not? Why are my lights going crazy? So much happening. Are the messages gonna disappear? Oh yeah, they disappeared eventually. Okay, good. Yeah, I think I could do a gym stream, by the way, soon. Maybe next week. Why not? Oh, the thing is, it have to be a really late stream because it's actually not legal. Not legal, no. It's against the rules of the gym to stream. To, uh, to record video and stuff on my gym, at least. So, it would have to be... Um, day that I'm not that is not busy oh Irish redeemed it sorry my bad yeah Irish the lights go off every time you um uh, you um uh, you redeemed that which they did I was a bit confused oh it's because I don't have my twitch chat so I couldn't see what was going what's going on sometimes um so the story about this game and why i'm playing it it's i'll show you uh, there was a video a youtube video <laughs> there was a youtube video that um i saw where somebody said that it was one of the best games you have to play um but, but you shouldn't know much about it Let's see if i can find it This one the games everyone should play before they die i was watching Hardships. this and on top of this it's one of the most beautiful and innovative games and then they came to this game i don't know if i've ever played a game that surprised me as much as inscription did you see after hearing so many good things about the game i finally decided to give it a try almost a year after release only to find out that inscription is one of the most wildly unknown and underloved games of all time and that's because Inscription does something almost no other game ever manages to do. It truly leaves you awestruck. After all, if we are being honest, for most games, you have them figured out fairly quickly. There may be a twist at the end like the original Bioshock, there may be constantly shifting game mechanics like It Takes Two, but on the whole, you understand what the game is about almost immediately, regardless. It's not like that for Inscription though, because for the entirety of your playthrough, Inscription will not just warp and change itself, but your own mind as well. The game is so magical with these twists and turns that it almost is hard to talk about it without spoiling things, which would ruin the entire experience if you've never tried it. So all I can say is that this game goes places and turns into things you would never have expected ever, and will leave you speechless by the end. And on top of that, the game itself is just really fun to play, with the base card game mechanics being great and requiring a lot of thought while still being simple. More than anything though, Inscription shows what games can be when given unlimited creative freedom, and why that can be such a great thing. It shows us that what makes games truly special is its ability not only to let us play it, but for it to play us. It's a unique thing that only games can do, not movies, television, or books. And if you want a better understanding of what I'm even saying here, I can't stress enough how much you need to play this game before you die. It's one of the most terrifying and awe-inspiring experiences I have ever had while gaming, 
and shows just how good modern gaming is too, despite the naysayers. Another game that sure. So yeah, I saw a video and I'm like, I'm sold. So I started reading about the game and everybody thinks the game is freaking amazing. And it's like super surprising and it's underloved. And it's something that everybody should play before they die. Before they die. So I'm like, okay, I'll give that a go. Um, so yeah. Yeah, this is what the cameras, the lights look like when you activate them. When I'm streaming, when I'm uh, drumming. I'm not playing drums right now, but yeah, that's what happens. All room goes bonkers. Anyway, I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna get into this game. Oh, stop it, Morena. <laughs> okay. Let's give this a go, shall we? I hope that I can play with controller. Can I play with controller? Maybe I cannot. <laughs> Play the squirrel card, okay? Play the stoat. Stoats goes one blood. Sacrifice must be made. Okay. Ring the bell, okay? I don't think I can use a controller for this actually. That's okay. Just use my keyboard. The attack power, okay. I think it's a card game, but it has a weird story. Stow dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale, okay. You win if you tip the side. All the way down so this okay sounds good like this okay my turn okay the music's a bit uh eerie whoa it's my turn again you may draw from your deck or you may draw a squirrel. I will draw squirrel. Oh doll. Squirrel. I win. Okay. Cool. Right or left? Okay.
one should I pick? Cat or the adder? I like the cat. Found the squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of emergency, okay? Cool. And a second one. Another useful implement. It'll allow you to tip the scales with it, okay? It's as much as I can carry. Right. Is this a boss? Oh God. Now what? Two walls. Just grab a tooth. What the hell? Let's go. My deck is getting better. A young wolf cub or a sparrow? That makes sparrow. And an expansive, a feeble flying creature. This one will turn into a wolf, right? Yeah. And this one. Try to point it directly, even if there's a creature opposing it. Unlock this. Play that. Oh. 
You were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. Lost forever? I don't want to lose my cat or my sparrow. Sorry, I lost the sparrow. I just got it anyway. A healthy host. I like the cat. Oh. Okay. Oh god, sounds scary. Oh no. Let's put the cat. I need to kill these two guys, so I'm gonna put the cat in the middle. Oh, I can't. Squirrel? Okay, cat. Uh, I can't do anything here. dead already draw a card first uh um I'll grab squirrel then I'll put the river snapper here and the wolf Oh, I can't put the wolf down. Can I? Nope. Shit. Unless I put the wolf... Set of the reverse snapper. I'll be dumb though. I think I'm gonna lose. I lose. Since this is a learning opportunity, maybe the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. What? Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. This? Back down, okay. Okay. Hectic. I'm gonna get sacrificed. I only have one health left. One one candle left out of two. Elk porcupine. What the hell is that? Once a card bearing is usually struck, the striker is then dealt a single damage point. Okay. What about this? Not the cat. I don't need more cats. Porcupine or the elk? Porcupine only is one. I like it. Uh, what are those? Oops. 
don't know what to pick. Let's go to here. Oh, okay. <laughs> the hell is this man? Is this the one I sacrificed? The porcupine? Let's give it to this guy. Okay. Monster time. What is this? Car bearing the sigil will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil, okay? Grizzly, oh god. It's a big boy. It's a lot of damage. do anything god I should have put the cat there I fucked up oh that hurts Alaskan bullworm the hell is that to do here I guess I should put a squirrel because that will let me put the reaver snapper here and that will give me time to maneuver so squirrel hair here I don't have I haven't watched SpongeBob to be honest. Okay, I guess that's it. Squirrel or yeah, a squirrel would do. Put here and then I put this guy here. We play. Uh, now what? Oh, I can grab an extra squirrel. Like this. to play what to play i guess it has to be this there's no point in having a squirrel right unless actually no there is it will stop me from dying oh i get i win let's go okay i've seen the river snapper another porcupine and another what does this do when a car bearing this sigil damages another creature the creature perishes okay that's that's powerful and it's two though. I'll try this. Okay. 
zero power and five health. I'll grab the squirrel. And... Another squirrel. Squirrels are good. Big boss. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Prospector. Hey, White Ghost, how are you? At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil, okay? So he moves around. Doesn't do any damage, though. What about this? It's just a coyote. Okay, should start with a squirrel. Put it here. Then we'll put a cat. Here. And then... Can't do anything else really, can I? On this. Uh-huh. I'll put the wolf. Yeah, the wolf. Over here. And might as well grab one of these ones. And put the river snapper here. Let's go. Wait, what died? My, my wolf died. Living the dream, that's the way. Where's the song? Hot run green. Bang the drum all day. Never heard that. I'm playing this weird card creepy game, which apparently is amazing. So I thought I'd give it a go. What can I possibly use here? I guess. I have a squirrel over there, so I'll just grab something from the deck. The adder. I like that. Give me this. Put it there. Sacrifice this too. The other there. And we go. Oh, he's got two... Two things. What? 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 What does that mean? Cold Naga. do anything this would ah, if I put this guy down I'm just gonna it's just gonna kill him right so it does oh two damage it has three health actually it would survive for one turn Let's try it
God. I'm scared. I am scared. Just put the squirrel down, I guess. I have to keep putting the squirrel down because otherwise I would die. and girls it's been fun three damage maybe i can put a little squirrel there to survive for a turn <laughs> uh, i gotta keep surviving for now survive we survive what and now they're in my hand. Let's go. Okay, I win. Surely. I put a cat here. Oh, I have to sacrifice something to put a cat down. Okay, now. Put this, then the cat here. Put it down there. And then... Here's the porcupine. Here. Uh, I don't know what to do here, actually. I could sacrifice porcupine and the cat. Actually, that's a good idea. Put a wolf. Over here. That'll do the job, I think. Did you attack a card bearing this sigil? It does not. Okay. Guess we just play. Yep. I think next turn we win. Possibly. <gasps> no. Raven here. Wait, what does it do? I will die. I sit and put Wait, I gotta sacrifice two cards. No way. Yeah, 
now I'm dead. Yeah, nothing to play. I lose. God damn it. No, I did the wrong thing. I fucked up so bad. Oh God. Crawled and smoked, I know. I picked, I picked the wrong attributes. I had read them wrong. Here we go again. Now the challenger. Oh, I start from the beginning. Resourceful opossum costs two bones. You can't bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. Okay. Okay, we start from the beginning then. Draw a card. Bullfrog. That's new. Surely I win. Okay, good. Where am I? Get up and fetch the figure in. It's besides the save. Safe. The 
hell is this? Coyote. Rattler. Cockroach. Unkillable. That sounds good. Black goat. It's bleeding. It's bleeding. Yields three blood if you can ignore the bleeding. What does that mean? If you deem it necessary, you may cut up one of my cards with this. Oh, that's nice. What is this? The user. A black goat is created in your hand. A black goat is defined as zero power, one health, worthy sacrifice. confident this time okay what do they have two spirals which will fly to me grab this thank you um squirrels let's go Bearing this sigil perishes, a copy of it is created in your hand. How many bones? Four bones, okay. Yeah, let's play. Boom. Damage. Uh, I will pick. Of this awesome okay okay let's have one health both and one more to get the cockroach going i'll put a squirrel over here just to protect oh i can't shit whatever Cockroach now. I have to draw. Cool. Surrendered, okay. grab that knife but I can't two seventy three is that the code for the safe There's a key. Oh. Hmm. 
What on earth is this? What? What the hell? Oh? I have no idea what this means. Zero out of five. say one what does that mean some sort of puzzle but i don't know how to solve it two out of five whatever that means whoa i solved it and i don't know how solving those okay well back to the deck to the map awful definitely not picking my card that's a trash card I'll pick I'll pick the V high why not let's go to the fire Huh. They got my picture right. Uh, I guess I'll do the wolf. was weird fighting time
free health. I think this guy would survive. Total misplay. Alpha, what? Creature adjacent to a car burn the sigil gain one power. Damn, okay. I think I'm gonna put my new wolf in there for damage. Hell yeah. Let's go. Nice. Nice. Uh, grab, uh, grab one of this. Put it here, put a stink bug here, and let's play. Okay. New cards, all. It borrows and emerges to block any landborn attacker. When an enemy, when an empty space would be struck, Fiber in this area will move to that space to receive the strike instead. Oh, that's cool. But it does no damage, so that's useless. The elk. Now the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move the directions from the sigil, okay? And this is just a wolf cob. That turns into a wolf. Um, I don't know. I like the wolf cub. Kind of a good idea. Isn't it? Yeah. Turning into a wolf it sounds like a good plan. We'll go to... Damn, I don't know where to go. Let's go here. Merge some cards. What does this do again? Okay. What is this? When a card bearing the sigil is placed, an ant is created in your hand. What the hell is an ant? Oh god, so many cards. The wolf cub could be good. So many powers. That, uh, what do we want to do? I think I'm gonna put I'm gonna turn the cockroach into something bigger. Sounds good. So the cockroach no 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 uh, the wolf cop will sacrifice. Decisions, decisions. So, 
cockroach will die. Oh, we can give it to the wall. That's OP. Okay. 